friends, it's Miss Stephanie and Charlie here, and we are here to read you another story today. So I'm gonna let Charlie get back to his nap because that's his favorite thing to do and I feel like I'm always interrupting that. So I'm gonna let him go back to that. So I'm gonna read you a book called I Love You, Little Monkey. And this is by Alan Durant and he wrote the words, he's the author. And it was illustrated by Catherine was McEwen. So, and she drew the pictures. So this is the, the front cover of the book. This is the spine of the book. And the back cover, it looks like they're having so much fun. And we have our, our title page. All right, and I thought this was a really good book to read this week because if you don't know it, on Sunday, on May 10th, is Mother's Day. And I Love You is something that we say to our moms all the time because we love them so much. They do so much for us. And um, they love us so much too. So let's go ahead and get started. Deep in the jungle, beneath a great big tree, hopped one bored little monkey. Will you play with me, he asked the big monkey. But big monkey was picking figs for supper and could not play. Little monkey, why don't you climb something? Asked big monkey. So little monkey climbed he climbed up to the top of the big tree. And when he climbed down again, he found Big Monkey's pile of figs. He threw one at the big tree, splat. Little Monkey laughed. He threw another fig, and another, and another, and splat, splat, splat. Do we throw food? Is that something we do? <laughs> No, so he's probably not doing the right thing. When Big Monkey came back, there was only one fig left. That was naughty, Little Monkey, said the Big Monkey. Those figs were for our supper. Now I'll have to go and pick more. Um, I'll help you, said the little monkey. So little monkey helped big monkey pick figs for supper. Soon they were done. Now will you play with me, asked little monkey. Not yet, said big monkey. First, I've got to make the beds. Why don't you do some swinging and jumping. So the little monkey swang and jumped in the big tree. Then he saw the bed that big monkey had made for him. Little monkey swang and little monkey jumped and wee! What do you think is gonna happen? Where's he gonna fall at? I think he's gonna land in the bed that big monkey made. Crash! He landed right in the middle of the bed and crushed it. Oh, that was naughty, little monkey, said the big monkey. Now I'll have to make your bed all over again. Um, was it nice of Little Monkey to mess up the bed that Big Monkey had made? And mess up all the figs and throw them that Big Monkey had worked so hard on? No, we shouldn't do that. When we know that someone works really hard on something, we should take care of it. So we're being nice to them. I'll help you, said Little Monkey. So Little Monkey helped Big Monkey make his bed again. Soon, they were done. Now will you play with me? Asked Little Monkey. 
Not yet, said Big Monkey. First, I need a little nap. Why don't you play for a while? Big Monkey lay down on his bed and Little Monkey played and he danced. Look how much fun he's having. Dancing around and he swung from vine to vine and he jumped. And what do you think is gonna happen now? We'll have to see. Landed right on top of Big Monkey. You naughty little monkey, shouted Big Monkey. Go up to your bed right now. Little Monkey climbed up to his bed and he started to cry. Oh, poor little monkey. When Little Monkey came back down again, Big Monkey put his arm around him. But you don't love me, Little Monkey sobbed. Yes, I do, said Big Monkey. Do you love me when I'm naughty, asked the Little Monkey. Of course I do, said the Big Monkey. I know, not like I may not like the naughty things you do, but I love you always, even when you're naughty. Now, let's play swing and chase. Little Monkey smiled. So even sometimes we make sad choices or we're a little bit naughty, our parents are, will always love us. They'll always love us, no matter what. Swing and chase little monkey. Monkey's favorite game. Look how much fun they're having. Big monkey and little monkey played and played until at last they came to a clearing around a large pool. They stopped and had a little drink. Then Big Monkey took Little Monkey's paws in his own. I'm sorry I did those naughty things, said Little Monkey. And I'm sorry I shouted at you, said Big Monkey. It was naughty of me to shout or yell at you. Big Monkey gave Little Monkey a great big hug. I love you, Little Monkey, he said. Little Monkey climbed onto Big Monkey's back and they started for home. I love you too, Big Monkey, whispered Little Monkey. I love you always, even when you're naughty. I really like that book and I really hope that you guys liked it as well. Um, I really like it because it reminds us that no matter what, no matter if we're naughty or making sad choices, our parents really love us and they'll love us no matter what. But we also need to take care of them by making really good choices. And I hope that you guys are having a really good day and I hope that you guys will have a wonderful Mother's Day. And maybe there's something that you can do to show your parents and your mom that you love them and you care about them. Um, I hope to see you all soon and um, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.